Good evening everybody. Uh, today we have a video here. We're going to show you what you'll learn to do uh, during the project internship program. We have a lot of projects uh, involved during the project internship program. We'll show you one by one. This is the first project which you'll learn to do. This is a, a part of the first day content. Here you'll learn how to work with LEDs. Here you have a digital uh, binary counter. So you'll learn how to build this counter on the first day. Now, this here is what you'll learn on the second day. You'll learn to work with inputs. So we have an input. Yeah. So you know how to interface a switch with a binary counter. This here is a third day's content. Now, both of the first and second day are uh, digital, uh, working with digital pins. On this day, you'll learn how to work with analog outputs. This is a PWM generation on the Arduino. We're controlling a RGB LED here. So you'll learn this on the third day. And you'll also learn how to interface sensors. Now this looks very similar to the previous one. Here, the intensity of the RGB LED is dependent upon the uh, light dependent resistor we have here. So you learn how to interface sensors with the board. The next day, We learn how to control the board using serial communication. We need the computer for this. So let's open the serial monitor. So you see, now let's type a A and, send, and you can see the LED going on. Let's type something else and switch it off. X and it goes off. So this is what you learn on the third day. On the fourth day, we have something interesting here. The uh, seven segment LED. You learn uh, concepts of port manipulation. A port is a group of pins. So you learn how to work with pins as a group and as part of it you learn how to control a 7 segment LED. Now we have a temperature sensor here in this project and the temperature is being displayed uh, on the 7 segment so you can see as I hold it the temperature will go goes up and you can see the display being refreshed so if I leave it, it will drop down. Okay, here yeah, it's dropping down a bit slow. So you learn this on the fourth day and you also have a LCD display. You learn how to work with the LCD display, just uh, LCD interfacing. And on the fifth day, you learn how to work with the real time clock here. We have a DS1307 real time clock. You learn I2C communication and how to work with it and to just make a clock with that. Now that would be the first week's content. As we go into the second week, you'll learn how to work with, uh, how to interface a remote control and control your board wirelessly. So now we have this LED, the RGB LED, you can see. So different buttons, pulse different colors. So this is a basic remote control interface which you'll learn. You will also learn on the same day how to uh, do wireless communication using uh, infrared LEDs. Now we'll see. I'm just powering both these boards. We have two boards, no connection. They're not related by USB. You can see the value here. This is the value of the L LDR on this board. The light value measured by this LDR. So the data is being transmitted wirelessly by this IR LED and it is being received by the receiver here. So let's try to uh, change the value here. Let's see, I put my hand on top of this. You can see the value go up. Uh, remove my hand. So you learn the basics of wireless communication protocols and everything in this day. The next day involves working with motors. So you learn how to build a motor driver circuit.
So we're going to use the uh, remote again to control the motor. So you can use, you learn how to control the speed of the motor. I can decrease the speed of the motor. Then I can change the direction. So you learn that the next day. Okay, the, the day after that, you learn how to work with relays and DDMF. So we have a DDMF control board here. It's wired to the phone here. It's wired to the phone here. Let's see. So you can see you can see the light going on and off based on DDMF. So in this day you learn how to work with relays and how to interface uh, DDMF tones to your board. So. The day after that you learn how to work with uh, external serial based modules like GSM. So what we're going to do now is we program this board to make a call to this number, this number. So when I press the middle button, it's going to make a call. Yeah, you can see the call coming in. So I can disconnect. So you, you learn how to send SMS from your controller using your controller how to uh, make calls uh, based on certain actions mm, a lot of other things and on the final day now so long we've been working with uh, the Indino X board on the final day you learn how to construct the basic circuit on a breadboard so now we have interfaced the remote here on the breadboard as well you can see so these are the things you learn during the project internship program. Plus you get a, a brilliant takeaway kit which includes most of it. You don't get the GSM module, that's expensive. Apart from that, uh, whatever we've shown you here, uh, you get to take away that. Thank you.